everybody, Craig here. This is Mitch. Uh, Mitch, you are uh, here exhibiting Z-Wave right. technology. Uh, I was hoping you might give us a little overview. What is Z-Wave? That's our first question. That's a great question. Z-Wave is the enabling platform or the technology that enables products to communicate with each other. So you have a door lock or a thermostat or a lighting device, sensors uh, with a variety of brands and many brands that you're familiar with, like perhaps Nexia or Yale or even a, a Google Assistant. And so Z-Wave is the enabling technology that enables the hardware to speak to each other back and forth. So is this any different from something people might be familiar with otherwise, like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? How is it different? So Wi-Fi is a technology that's designed to communicate between devices, as is Z-Wave, but the difference is Z-Wave is fully interoperable. So if you put in a technology of a platform with Z-Wave, say you've got a Wink Hub or a SmartThings Hub or a Nexia Hub, if it's got Z-Wave inside, you then have an entire ecosystem of over 2,400 different products. You can mix and match all these different brands as long as they're Z-Wave, and they will all work together. Oh, that's really nice. So uh, do you use Z-Wave in your house, and what's your favorite device that you use it on? I have Z-Wave all over the house, and actually my favorite devices are actually the lighting controls, the lighting devices. Um, I happen to use a SmartThings hub myself, and so I can actually uh, you know, hit a button on my smartphone, or actually as I get close to my house, it'll know that I'm home, it'll unlock the front door, it'll set the lights appropriately, and even perhaps turn the music on to uh, my favorite music. Nice. So uh, is there anything people should be looking out for uh, that's going to be Z-Wave connected that might be interesting to folks in 2018, 2019? Well, clearly voice has been one of the more popular home products these days. We are showing off integration with Google Assistant here. We've got a number of brands, Hogar uh, is just one, for example, that is tying in voice. So what I would recommend to your, your viewers is you pick up your voice assistant and make sure all the devices that you're going to be using and the gateways and the hubs are all going to have Z-Wave. You'll see the logo for Z-Wave and that will guarantee the interoperability and the stuff will all work together. Perfect. Mitch, thank you very much. My pleasure. I appreciate you doing a little explainer for us. Hopefully that helps you understand Z-Wave a little bit better, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, of course, hit us up in the comments and uh, we'll make sure to send Mitch a little message so that he can answer them because he seems to know what he's talking about. I'll see you guys.